Previously on Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. Despite numerous cryptic warnings, both from our email and from Yugi himself, we've ventured out at night. Save me! Are you okay? Wahaha! <laughs> Stan, I remember you! Our business is not through! Uh... Boy, this feels like a trap. Oh! Yeah, that's not good. Graceful Dice, I think in every on-camera game, has let us down. Ooh. All right, what do we hit with your argument? What happened? Serenity, are you okay? I'd recognize that bald head anyway. Pegasus, wasn't that the guy who ran Duel's Kingdom? There's something definitely creepy going on in this tournament. Oh, oh. want a duel, old timer? Now that I found you, you will no longer proceed. A shadow game, I shall decree. That did not rhyme. Hey all what is up? Keysby here, and welcome again to Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour! So today we are going to open up this episode by buying some packs. We did level up, okay, we didn't get a new pack. Uh, so we're going to stick with Miracle of Nature right now because Pot of Greed is somewhere in here. And also Jiraigumo is in here, and Jiraigumo, despite the fact that it has actually cost us a game before, because <laughs> of how much it's after life points, has won us multiple games, so... Oh, I really wish I could buy multiple packs. That's That would be a huge improvement to this game. All right. Ooh, Reaper of the Cards. Too bad that is a one tribute monster. I actually just picked up a very nice, super rare OCG copy of that with the older card layout. I don't know what set it's from, but I'm very excited to send it in to get graded. It's super clean looking. All right. Um, this is not looking good. We got three more packs. Pot of Greed. Pot of Greed or Jirai Gumo. Really, either one of those is great right now. That Blade Fly is not doing it for us. Great Moth. Absolutely not doing it for us. We have everything we need to play Great Moth, but we're not going to. Alright, two packs left. Okay. Nope. Nope. Ooh, a Pendulum Monster. But not the kind you might know. All right, first pack. Come on, baby. Give us that pot of greed, please. Oh my gosh. Ooh, Sword Stalker. That's actually, it's not great, but it's not terrible. Um, all right, well. So, let's see. We'll probably get some repeat duelists in this episode, but it's been a while since we've seen some repeat duelists, I think. I don't know. Man, I'm just... I want that pot of greed. I need that pot of greed. I'm just like hyper fixating on getting that one card right now because it's going to be so helpful throughout the rest of the game. I'm going to be as great as Yugi and Joey. It's time to duel. All right, Taya. Let's take her on. It's been a while since we played against Taya. Maybe. We definitely didn't in the last episode or the one before. We've had a lot of... Not a lot of shadow duel action lately, which has been stressful, to say the least. Alright, draw for turn. Stand by main. I don't know, let's open up the Graceful Charity. Um, hmm. I think we get rid of... You two. Uh, we'll set Rope of Life. We will set Mirror Force. And I actually think I want to set Shining Abyss. Let's see if we can bait out a nice attack into it. And then from there, we'll debate on what we do. Dispel. Do I have any spells? Nope. Well, now you know I have Mirror Force. Ah, uh, come on, Taya. Alright. So that's unfortunate, but whatever. Skull Dice. Not helping. Alright. Um, I think I would honestly rather just get the pressure on right now. Instead of picking away at her hand. Let me just double check. Mirror Force and Rope of Life. Got it. Skalingle. We were running Skalingle for a while. Took it out of the deck, though. Was not helping us much. Alright, and let's get in with Shining Abyss. I mean, if it keeps going where our pack luck is this bad, I may commit and do some passwords. Oh! Ah, yes, the Keysby Edo Pro Special. We talked about it last episode, but sometimes I'll just skip to end phase and completely not do anything. 
meant to set that skull dice. Didn't end up mattering. All right. I think now we're going to start picking away at her hand. Let's summon White Magical Hat. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's Stimpack him. Stimpack has been coming in pretty clutch. Hopefully, the game is over by the time that Stimpack anti-boost is a problem. Honestly, Joey has been, like, the problem duelist for us so far. And it's just, he has stuff that is hard to get over just by virtue of how much attack it has. And it's like, whenever I play against him, I never can find Stimpak, Rush Reckless. I just find my dice cards. And, like, I think the dice cards are going to have to go, but I don't have anything good to replace them with. That, Wow. I was not expecting to see that card. Yeah, I just don't have anything great to replace them with at this point. And it's like, it's stat boost and stat changes, which are kind of really important at this point. Like, this is just kind of like, beat down with some strategy in air quotes. All right, um, I think, I don't think that's enough to clear. 15, 16, 16, and 16. Uh, 16 and 16, 32. No, it's not enough. All right, so we might as well just snipe a card out of her hand. We just clear red archer, girl. Beautiful. Watch Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Trabador to see Keysby do math live. It is uh, not a pretty sight. I was not a good math student, and I'm still not great at it. Fortunately, I don't have to do a ton of math in my day-to-day -day life, and uh, I have this thing called a phone that has a calculator on it that covers a lot of the math that I need to do in my day-to-day -day life. So, all right, uh, one more turn, and I think we've got this. Hopefully, we can find a new duelist or a duelist we haven't played in a while. And if not, maybe I'll just cut around if we're getting a bunch of boring duels. All right, that's definitely something that's going to give her life points, and I'm going to be upset. Yup! All right, we we actually still clear this. Uh, oh, we almost had a... We almost had exact zero bonus, but whatever. All right, I do just want to be a little bit petty, and we're going to snipe that card out of her hand. Petty in that all this life gaining is really annoying. Beautiful. Oh, what is that? Token Thanksgiving, I think? It's hard to tell from a very blurry image of it. Well, we'll never know for certain. But we win. Alright, let's see what we got. So we have at least 50 points. 68. Oh, we are... Are you kidding? We're one shy of getting another pack. I lost! How frustrating! So, one of these days, on one of these playthroughs... Ooh, I don't think we've played Rex yet. I'm the Dino Duelist Rex Raptor. I made the semifinals of that last tournament, so you better not think I'm a sissy Saurus. I'm not... I'm not even going to comment on that. Alright. So anyway, like I was saying, one of these days on one of these playthroughs, I will consistently give characters the same voice that aren't like... Yugi and Joey. I think they're the only ones that get consistent voices. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour! Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour! Um, ooh. Okay, um... Let's set Hane Hane, and that'll give us, like, a clean direct attack with Great White next turn. At a minimum. Alright, we got Sword of Dark Destruction. We do have a decent amount of targets for it in the deck. Ooh! Oh, well, that's not good. All right, well, Hane Hane, let's bounce that two-headed King Rex. Oh, actually, two-headed King Rex is fine. We can handle that. Yeah, we can absolutely handle that. If you've noticed a little bit of a weird jump in the edit, that's because my dog decided that she needed to go outside as I was recording. So, we're back. She's joined me in the studio. And, uh... 
All right, that two-headed King Rex, I just realized is not as much of a problem as I previously thought because we've got Skull Dice, and if we roll literally any number that can exist on a die, we are A-OK. -okay. As long as he hasn't summoned something more powerful, we are in the clear, as they say. All right, Rex, let's see what you got. Can you handle Skull Dice? If we had Time Wizard, this would be really fun. Then we could do the Joey. He's got Pot of Greed. Maybe that's a good o- Oh, that's not good. Um, how much of a boost is that? Okay, 200. Well, three, four, and five clear. And six. Oh, we just cleared with Skull Dice. All right, so we're going to have to uh, get this Flame Cerebrus on the field right now. All right, one set and a pass. All right, Flame Cerebrus, let's hit the field. All right, so hopefully that puts us enough ahead in stats that we can handle this. Okay, all right, not so bad. I'll take it here. He's got nothing to tribute for something stronger. If we were gonna get hit with negate attack anywhere, now is the time for it. All right, setting one. Um, how scared am I of that back row? Not that scared, because we've got the Gumo on our side. House of Adhesive Tape. What? Stop. Are you kidding with that? All right, what? Oh, come on. <laughs> Oh, that's so unfortunate the way that played out. All right. Um, Mega Zowler doesn't clear. That's the only one tribute dinosaur I can think of off the top of my head. All right. Um, can Great White clear Urabi? All right. So let's... Great White can definitely clear Robbie in defense mode, but let's take a peek at what this phase down is. Giant Rat. All right. Um, that's really unfortunate, but I think we kind of sort of have to play into it a little bit. Um, let's hit the Robbie. Realistically, we probably actually should have saved that for Mega Zowler, but hopefully Great White in attack position, if he does have a Mega Zowler, will, like, bait it out. I was not expecting two giant rats, though, if we're being totally honest. I thought we were, like, clearing this board entirely. Alright, so... Let's see what happens here. Unfortunately, our hand is clogged up with trap removal with no traps to remove. All right, that's probably Mega Zowler. Yep. Okay. Flame Cerebrus just gets over this, so we're we're in an okay position. How did I know he would play Mega Zowler? Because I think we've pulled like eight of them, and it's a terrible card. All right, Neo the Magic Swordsman. Ooh, do you equip to Neo? No, you are just Darks. That is such a good equip card for this point in the game. The more vague equip card we get, the better. Alright, so let's hit over Mega Zowler. Nice. Good time. Everyone's having a fun day. And now Neo, the Magic Swordsman. Magically attack him for 1700, please. A thank you, sir. And on that, we are going to go ahead and pass the turn. Okay, so Neo fortunately ties with Urabi. However, he does die to King... Ooh. How much of a boost is Ray's body heat? 21. Uh-huh. Okay. If we get any of our dark guys, we're okay. Lajin, Lajin... Ooh, all right. So, this isn't ideal, because we're going to have to ram Flame Cerebrus into this, but fortunately... 
Unfortunately, I have to commit Sword of Dark Destruction now. Um, I would prefer to save it for when we get La Jin, but... Like, our deck just is not good enough to do that. So I kind of need something big enough that I can clear his, like, standard monsters with. Uh, we are going to be in trouble if he has another equip to go with it. But I have a feeling that that was a top deck. Because Mega Zeller with Raised Body Heat would have been a really bad day for us. Alright, there's a set. Okay. Good, good, good. We like that. Um, let's put pressure on. Alright. I'm going to take a chance. I think everything that we've seen so far, Shining Abyss should be able to clear. Ooh, I saw the effect monster and I was like, are you kidding? It's a third giant rat. It wouldn't have been as bad this time around because we've got our uh, Baron of the Fiend Sword equipped with Sword of Dark Destruction to clear whatever it would have been, but... Alright. Um, not to jinx it, but I think we're good next turn. Okay, that may have jinxed it. Well, we need a monster specifically. We need something with a decent sized body on it off the top to win next turn. All right, draw for turn. Here we go. Crawling Dragon. That will. Does Crawling Dragon get a boost from this? Dinosaur, Zombie, and Rock type. You are a dinosaur. Wait, wow. Thank you, Rex. I'll take that little boost. Not that we needed it, but also hilarious that Crawling Dragon is a dinosaur. And yet, Two-Headed King Rex is also a dinosaur. You'd think that would be a dragon, too. Alright. Whew. We made it, we made it. That was not the easiest game, but we pulled it off. Alright, so I think... Usually I would close out the episode here. But we're going to take one more chance. The fact that we just saw Pot of Greed get played feels like a good omen. That our next pack... How? How could I lose? I don't know. I'm just that good, Rex. I'm just that good. I say as I scrape by barely with another one. It's a shop. Enter. Yes, we will enter as a matter of fact. All right. Here we go. By the way, I did look up which pack Pot of Greed came in, so it's not like we're buying the wrong pack. I definitely did check this beforehand. And again, Jirai Gumo. Ooh, Wasteland. We have Wasteland. <sighs> Come on. That's so unfortunate. The other unfortunate thing is we just don't have enough, like, monotyping to really take advantage of the field spells we have. But... On that note, we tried to buy a bunch of packs, didn't get what we needed, we're going to keep at it, and we uh, had a nice match with Taya for the first time in forever, plus took on old Rex Raptor and uh, scraped by with a win. So, on that note, if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to drop it a like and subscribe to the channel for even more, and I will catch you all later.